So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing net gaiters from Slit Gator. Uh, we did a review on them a couple of months back. They've done a couple of upgrades that have really improved their products. And to me, these are the best net gaiters you can buy. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we talk about all things bearded. Uh, thank you for joining me here. And we've been on a quest to find beard friendly uh, mask and face coverings over the past few months. And we found some, we've talked about uh, this company before, Slick Gator. So they've got a double pack. They've actually done a couple of upgrades, which has really uh, made them go to the top of my, uh, my list, my preferred face coverings, especially in this uh, cooler weather season and now with the neck gaiters. Uh, when it was really hot, I didn't like stuff all the way around my neck, but now that it's cooler, uh, I really like it. Uh, so these can be found on Amazon uh, and they are very affordable. I pay 30, almost $30 for a couple of those masks that I got when I was making the series uh, to post here on YouTube when I was in my uh, search to find something that will work for and not mess my beard up. But these actually, uh, and I can't talk too much about price because uh, Amazon can sometimes vary the price on you, but at the posting of this video, it was $14.95, plus there was a little uh, box you could check to get an extra 5% off, so you could save an extra dollar, so really $13.95, uh, and it's uh, Amazon Prime, so it can be delivered to you fast, and all the guarantees that go along with that, so easy returns if there's something you don't like about it, but I don't think you're going to be returning these. So for the Money, you can't they can't be beat also for the uh, quality and the protection it gives uh, and for the comfort I don't think they can be beat either all right so I, I've used the, the the thinner material the most I haven't used the polar fleece uh, quite as much yet but it's definitely getting colder here uh, in North Carolina so a couple of things that they've done to upgrade. One is um, they've always had where you could put a filter in it. So a lot of times they you look at the CDC regulations and recommendations, if you will, uh, is they, they said don't wear a net gaiter that's, um, that's just one layer of like polyester. That's not good enough for protection. So this has got four layers of protection. Uh, so I feel very safe when I'm wearing this because you also have drawstrings at the top and the bottom. So so you can kind of have a sealed off uh, uh, comfort and then it's also loose around your face so it's not like it's pressing against your mouth and it's uh, hard to breathe. But you get four layers of protection because it's got a pocket for a filter and now the filters have holes punched in it for you. This is a micro fiber uh, filter, all right? So all you do is you slide it down in there and then you uh, click the, uh, the snaps around the holes and you've got four layers. You've got the outside layer of the mask, you've got the inside layer of the pocket, you've got the filter, you've got the outside layer of the pocket. So four layers there. So you're going to be protected. So I do think it does cover that uh, as, as well as can be expected for any net gator as far as the protect, protection goes on that. Uh, the next thing that they have done, which really helps me because I wear glasses, but also the fit and keeps it from falling down, and that is they've now put in adjustable nose wire. So you put that in, mold it right around your nose and the, where your face is right here, and it will not slide down nearly as easily as before. And also when you tighten it down, the pressure uh, is kind of equally distributed here instead of pushing right on the edge of your nose. And like and for me with a big mustache, it kind of pushed on my mustache. Uh, so very comfortable with that and now I don't have to uh, to fight it before uh, this style of neck gaiter if it didn't have holes in it for my ears it would keep falling down but now it doesn't between the bungee cord and then the adjustable nose piece I'll, I'll try that on for you in just a second and show you uh, so very comfortable uh, as far as that goes I don't have any trouble keeping it up anymore it's now my go-to um, especially for cooler weather. So now we've got the polar fleece one. It's a little bit shorter uh, and it actually can be worn uh, over your ears too to protect your uh, ears, keep them from being cold. So lots of uh, ways you can maneuver these things around to make them work for you. So let me show you here. I'll put one of these on. Uh, this one's been my go-to for the past month or so. So you just slide it over. I've already got this piece uh, molded around my nose. 
Okay, and so you can wear it up over your ears if you want. Or now, I don't have to because of the way it, the, the pressure is distributed up here. You can put the bungee cord as tight or as loose as you want. It just depends on how your face is shaped. All right, but everything in here is comfortable. It's real stretchy. It's not pressing against the end of my nose and not pressing against my mouth or my mustache. All right, so very great option, uh, not only for guys with uh, beards and mustaches, but for everybody, men and women alike. My wife's worn it. Uh, she says it's very comfortable as well. All right, and you've got the bungee cord at the bottom. You can tuck it into your shirt, or if you're wearing a coat, because it's winter season now, you can tuck it into your coat. Have no issues with that. And a pretty good seal up here as well. All right, so very comfortable. I feel like I'm protected. I feel like it's doing what it's supposed to and it's also not falling down. So I love that. So there you go. And just have to be careful when you're taking it off with, with the beard, you just stretch it out and pull it over your head and there you go. Put a little, do this to your beard, make sure you're looking good and you're good to go. The other part that's really good about it is um, you, you don't have to carry it around in your pocket, you just leave it around your neck. All right, and I'll show you that with this polar fleece one, but it's a little bit shorter, which is good, because if not, it would be kind of too bunched up with the thicker material. So we'll put, put it on. And tighten it up. And there you go with the polar fleece. Works the exact same way. I really do like this design now. It's, it's my go-to. Uh, the other thing that is great about this, as I was saying, you just pull it down and leave it. It can just ride right here. It's a great place. You got your own turtleneck, if you will, uh, especially in the winter time. Um, so it's real easy to do what you need to. If you need to take your mask down and then put it back up, you don't have to carry it in your pocket, anything weird like that, no extra straps or anything like that. So it works very well, highly recommend it. And then there's a couple other things that make this head and shoulders above some of the other things I've tried. Um, the biggest one is you can machine wash it. You can throw these in the washing machine. The filters you can throw in the washing machine, they're all reusable. If you wanna make more filters for whatever reason, you're tra trading that out every day. You can cut your own out of uh, microfiber or old t-shirt or sweatshirt and they, they show you how to do that uh, on the, uh, um, on the website as well. So very good. Also it very high quality. You can tell by looking at it. To me, it looks like it's triple stitched. Um, so it, to me, it looks like it's very well made uh, and you don't have to worry about hand washing and hanging it up in your bathroom or hanging it up all over the kitchen, which I have to do with my other mask. So highly recommend you checking out the Slick Gator with those couple of improvements. They punched holes in the filter, but also that nose bridge. And then also for me, because it's cooler time of the year, makes these the perfect things to wear all throughout winter time. Um, and hopefully we won't need to wear masks and keep our faces covered for that much longer. But right now, even even, even when that goes, out, goes by the wayside, which I hope is very soon, uh, I would still wear this to keep uh, keep my neck warm, but also to keep your ears warm. This thing works very well to, to put over your ears here, and, and it's probably not my style to do it this way, but it definitely works. You've got polar fleece. It's like a little polar fleece beanie, if you will, but that works well. So lots of options for you. Please check them out. Um, I've got a link in the um, description below. So it is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you do make a purchase, I get a small commission for that. But great price, great quality. Uh, I can't recommend the Slick Gator enough. So let me know in the comments if you've tried Slick Gator or any other style of neck gator. And uh, let me know what you think about Slick Gator, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.